Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. It's me, and we are going to be doing a keyboard versus keyboard, a 75% or a 60%. Let's see which one is better, and I will see you in the video. This keyboard is this one. It is a 75% keyboard. And there's your brand. The average cost of these keyboards are normally $20 to $40, so pretty affordable. Hey guys, this is the keyboard. It is pretty big because it's just the 75%. And it has RGB, which I feel like is a necessity for gaming keyboards. Um, let's hear the sound. It's pretty loud, so I would say it's very good for gaming um, at night because it's very loud. But it is definitely like pretty good. It has, I don't know, I think it's, I don't know the switches, but they have good switches. Very easy to click. But they're not like you can accidentally misclick, so it's very it's a good keyboard overall. Um, for this keyboard, I would give it a good seven out of ten, six or seven out of ten, because it's very good but has some flaws. The keyboard is a sixty percent, and the type range typically is at ten dollars to a hundred dollars, so there is a lot more variety. There is well, definitely a lot more and let's get into the review so first of all it definitely is optimal it is a very small keyboard so fits basically like it fits better than the, the other one that's a lot bigger and the sound definitely a lot more new and it is definitely probably i would say better for gaming at least like your um FPS games and games like that because this is a lot smaller and a lot easier to get to the different buttons Like you got your image like if you're playing for Fortnite for instance, you got your like, Load out here easily moves your easily edits and builds Definitely a more optimal keyboard um, It's smaller has better sound and it's definitely better gaming keyboard for <clears throat> not to work I would really use it because you would see all of your F1, F2, F those F buttons it's enter buttons bigger it has a lot less keys because it's smaller but it's still a good keyboard overall I would give it a 8 out of 10 so I think it wins but definitely a situational better for gaming that one is typically better for like um i would say like you know working if you're like doing a project or something like that but this is the winner for a better gaming keyboard and i hope you enjoyed this video so see you in the next one bye in conclusion the winner is this 60 percent but it was definitely a good fight and i think both of them are really good keyboards but anyway, the 60% is the winner, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.